Hello guys, Headshot here and today we are playing Conquest in Golden Blitz using the Medic class. Yes, that's right, I'm playing the Medic class, although you should probably already know I'm not really into the Medic or the Support class. I usually prefer playing the Scout class and the Assault class as well. So the thing is, I've noticed lately that many many medics aren't using the the medic gadgets that they have. I mean the health packets or the the health crates or the syringes. I don't know why. I find out that uh, most of the medics won't revive a teammate that is nearby and that is clear of uh, enemy opponents. So I wanted to make a video to actually try myself play the medic class and revive and um, rehealth as many teammates as I can. So let's see if we are going to do our purpose. So of course we are playing Conquest today and we are using the M1907 ML Sweeper for our primary. So let's see what gameplay are we gonna be able to do here. I am gonna try my best to revive and rehealth as many teammates as I can. If you enjoy the gameplay, please give a thumbs up. If you don't, a thumbs down. And thank you for watching. Now let's see, I don't think we can... I don't think we can pass that corridor, there are too many enemies. What you did you die from to me? What did path. you die from? What, there was a bomb? I don't know. I don't want to find out, to tell you the truth there. <laughs> oh, the uh, scout can hit him. Where did he go? Okay, he disappeared and I'm dead. <laughs> That's a nice bargain there, so not push that far. Um, there's two medics around, let's hope. Let's hope we're getting revived. Yes, actually in this gameplay, the medics are uh, really good. Really good medics and that's, you know, that's the thing. If you wanna, if you wanna have uh, kills or uh, you don't wanna play the objectives and you only want to have kills, I don't think this game is for you. This game is all about the objectives. You can play TDM or another game mode. In uh, Conquest and Operation and this game mode, that there are objectives and flags, the most important thing is to actually win the game. A kit is available. When you are only going for kills, you don't help the team. Okay, I'm not saying you don't help the team by killing people, but killing randomly people and not try to help your team uh, take the objective. I don't mean uh, that you always have to be on the objective yourself. You might be a scout and you want to be around the objective, but at that point you have to be at a very nice strategic place to help your team take the objective. So that's what I'm talking about. And the medics in this game and in this game modes are playing a very big, big, big part of uh, winning the game because you can rehealth teammates that are almost going to die, and uh, with this way, you can actually help your team take the objective by helping your teammates not to die, and you can also revive them. Which for me is such such an overpowered thing. It's so OP. So I think if you play the medic class and you have the syringe in your um, in your uh, gadgets there, I think you should uh, check, check first if the area is clear and if it is, go for the revive because you are doing good for your team. I can fix your wounds. So let's see. We have to push to death, but there are enemies everywhere. Oops, okay, he's down. My teammate needs uh, help, but. I can't seem to reach him from here, he's a little too far. Okay, let's see, is anyone here? No, we're clear. 
Okay, I reached him. He was now closer to me. He's regenerating health. But we have to be very careful there. Okay, we have backup. I think we are ready to push. Come on, team. Let's push to death. We can do it. Oh, let's say a scout. Oh. <laughs> the scout I saw was was actually dead, but I was lucky because there was another one alive and I should um, I should probably never notice that guy if it weren't for the dead guy there, so uh, I am liking that. I'm hearing some shots and a horse, okay, it's a friendly horse behind me. Charlie. Oh, but we are losing Charlie. Where was that guy? Oh, I knew I was hearing some shots there, but... Oh, oh there's a... I think I got sniped and there's also an assault or a support player there. I'm lucky to be alive. If I wasn't a medic here, I wouldn't be alive for sure. Like. And uh, what I have actually noticed is that the... First day, take him. Okay, I'm sorry. Is that um, the health pouch is uh, much, much more effective than the health crate because you can throw one and keep uh, running until you get to cover and the other thing is that you can regenerate health while you're suppressed uh, and with the health crate you won't be able to do that nope i don't think so buddy he was trying to charge me but he was far far away and i've heard him so let's see i think there's a support guy there Let's go and take him out. Where is he? Where is he? Oops! Oh! What was it? Come on, tank! Let's go! We have to take apples back. So, let's see. Where are they going to be? I think there will be a lot of enemies there. Is one. Let's... Oh, he got into the building. Let's take him out. Oh, oh there's another one another one behind me I think somewhere let's have some help before we face the other guy there he is there he is okay he's running away he's uh, very low on health he probably needs one or two bullets now okay he needed one bullet that's very nice and there's one or two more I think there must be one and he is probably... He's probably dead. Yes, he's dead, I think. So we're actually good. Now the thing is... Another thing I've noticed with the cavalry cross... Is that... Uh, although you have... Ammo pouch and uh, health pouch... The, the teammates that are playing the cavalry class will never never throw you ammo or health i can't understand why but i think this class is meant to support very very much of your team what i mean is that you have the ability to throw health and ammo to your teammates and it isn't only by yourself okay so when are you're on a horse or off a horse it's always, always very important to give your teammates ammo or health. I don't know why the teammates I've played with never do this. I'm not sure why this happens. But I think you should probably do to help your team go better and win the game. So this guy went down there. Let's see, we got a, we got a tank on our left side and we got probably enemies around or oh, they're gone okay they must be gone the tank is uh, inside the buildings here let's damage a little bit there i hope it don't get a rocket in my face oh hello okay that second uh, shot was a little bit lucky there wasn't it i think it was because my whole screen was shaking with the behemoth going down there but that's okay we got the guy and they are trying to push to charlie so 
probably want to help the team out uh, a little bit. Okay, that's one guy. Teammate there, I didn't notice him. Who's probably you. gonna kill my teammate. But it seems quite clear. Charlie flag, so yes. And we're pushing to Duff, so maybe. Okay, it's here's ammo, ammo buddy. See, it's that simple. A teammate needs ammo, you throw him ammo. A teammate needs help, you throw him help. The pouch. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps. <laughs> The team win the game. Oh, there was another guy? Oh my god. Where was that guy? He should probably spawn uh, right the right the moment I I turn on left there. I don't I don't know why. I didn't see him. Maybe he was prone, I don't know. So maybe I get the revive from G4 A B. Thank you, buddy there. Thank you very much. That's what I'm talking about. So what I was saying is you not only right there. help the team win the game when you regenerate with the uh, health your teammates. You always stood here. Okay, the both dead. You're also helping yourself survive longer and have more kills because, you know, when you're alone, you will probably die when there are um, two enemies or more around you. But when you have your your teammates up and healthy and with ammo you should oh what's going on here there's an assault guy okay my aim was a little off there that's a little nicer here sorry about that so what i was saying is that you will uh, probably survive longer because when you're alone and you're facing two enemies or more you're probably going to die but when you have your teammates uh, healthy with ammo they will help you and you will survive and you will get more kills and uh, much better KD ratio. So that's what you have to do to have a better KD and to have better, uh, more points and, um, you know, be better at this game. So I think it's time for the team to boost to dive here where we're doing pretty well in this game but we have to be careful there there's many enemies down there and there's not oh i won't survive that okay i did survive that for now but i'm low on health let's throw a, a health pack there oh there he is and i was surrounded by enemies there couldn't do much Low plane. Want me to patch your wounds? I will patch you up, buddy. I will revive you. I am the medic wounds. here. Of course, I am the medic here. Anyone else uh, needs help or reviving? I'm here for you, buddies. I'll be there for you. <laughs> yes, I'm trying. No, the bomber there. Okay, I'm trying to. It's a little foul to push there, isn't it? I think it is. But uh, we actually did good in this game. We had really, really good medics uh, reviving and regenerating health uh, our teammates there. So that's probably um, a very good reason why we did so well. And um, the game is coming into it. And we did a... Uh, Pretty good wounds. job there, I think, reviving people and also killing people as well. I okay, the light tank there didn't see it. We got 36 to 7, which is a quite good score there, and we helped the team much to win this game. So, I hope you like the gameplay. If you did so, please give a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.